Let's talk about defensive line play real quick. Actually, before that, let's talk about run fits and gap scheme. We get gap. We always spill overlap and non man space. Always, always spill and overlap. It's going to get important because I'm about to talk about two back ball here in a second. Okay, talk about two back ball here in a second for a while. Spill and overlap. So if we get a guard pull, okay. Boom, 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 puller. I spill it. How do I spill it? Get deep and thick, don't pull out, right? Near hand, near foot, get thick on the pad. I want to try to play primary, secondary off the floor of the back. If not, I'm just going to don't pull out and run the circle, right? The mic is always ball to overlap. So he checks the ball and then he's an overlap player in the running game. He's the plus fair and the jacks the edge of the defense. Right, the jacks the edge of the defense. We're playing this as one back ball. The Mike backer is the overlapper. Okay, same page. Cool. How do we play defensive line when we play one gap defense like this? Right, I'm going to talk about playing for uh and zero as react, or I'm sorry, as attack react players. Okay, attack react players. When we're playing this type of ball, we're gonna play loose. Okay, we're gonna play loose our alignment, which is what we're gonna talk about here in a second. We're gonna come out of our hips and our hands with our feet following. And we're going to look to knock back blockers. We're gonna knock back blockers. Okay. So what does that look like? And what differentiates it from other types of D-line play? Okay. So if I'm playing react attack here, doesn't matter what technique I am, and I'm an inside shade here. I'm gonna put my near hand just on top of or outside the foot of the offensive lineman. The really wide guys will play where? They'll play tip of the pad, right? So my down hand goes on or outside that offensive lineman. So here's my down hand, okay? Here's my back foot, okay? I'm always near hand down to man. Here's my up foot, boom, okay? We are keying the man that we're aligned on, okay? We're gonna key the tip of his pad because we're playing this really loose, which is not how we're gonna do it later, okay? When the tip of the pad works away from me, I'm gonna step an in-flight strike coming out of my hips and hands, the blocker, and knock him back. If the tip of the pad works across my framework, I'm gonna step, redirect, okay? Step, redirect, looking to play the cutoff block, playing the B-gap. Everybody on the same page. What's really important about playing one gap defense is that the body position, and this is gonna sound really weird, I'm gonna do this on purpose, okay? The body position should look like this. Okay, the body position should be me with my hips forward, right? My 45 degree flat back, tip of the spear type alignment, okay? And the wall is holding me up. I am knocking him back. My hands are up and a suit name like I'm holding a bowl of soup. I'm coming out of my hips and my hands and my feet are following. Okay, that's really important for what we're gonna talk about the difference later. Questions so far? Back react. No. Cool. So now that we've talked about the tasks or how we're doing it, we're going to go a little faster and talk about some of the run game. So here we go. We're talking about why off formations. We're going to talk about America's offense. Now that we understand what the principles of the run game that we're talking about. Okay. 
Corners playing next. Corners playing next. Done. Stars playing apex. He's going to MLI scrimmage in the near back. Okay, we got our loose forearm. We got our head up nose and doing the exact same thing as the forearm. He's still playing it as what some people call a jet technique, right? Or attack react. He's still coming to hips, hands, feet will follow. Loose forearm. Okay. We're going to have our jack who's outside of the Y here because the Y is off the ball. Our weak side safety is going to be what we call a hammer. Some people call it a hammer, right? Or a robber. Okay. And he's going to play the C gap based on where the Y is. He's feeding off of his coverage, which is the Y. We got our safety who's playing the two up and out mixed style principle. And he has the first thing coming out. Will and Mike at 33, and we're playing single gap space. So we get America's play, which is what? Split zone, right? If I'm playing as nine man run fit spacing in mid four here, okay? These guys do not care about the Y off. It's single gap space. So I care about what? The flow of the offensive lineman And the back, the backs. So what's going to happen? I'm going to step with the offensive. I'm going to step the offensive line back. Step the offensive line back, and then do what? Back gap. I'm going to end up being what gap? The C gap. I'm going to end up being the A gap. Cool. Same page. He's the C gap. He's the quarterback because he's reading. And now let's finish the back, the quarterback player. We get bubble RPO. He has to take it man to man because he's two up and out. Okay. And the weak side of safety is fitting off of his coverage, which is the Y. So he is going to fit as the D gap player in the run game. So what does he become in our run fit? He is now the bend back player in the run game. In the run game. One of two things are going to happen here. Either this Y is going to go back and block the backer. He's going to get deep and thick, right? Because anybody who comes to block me, I'm going to play it inside out. This is now the new bend back, is the area between the backer and the weak side safety and the QB player. Okay? So we're maxed out in the run game. Everybody have any questions about that? We're playing react attack up front. So the tip of the pad goes away from me. There are two, I'm sorry, attack react, not react attack. Attack react, so there are two methods. If we're gonna play true attack react and the tip of the pad goes away from me, right? I'm not gonna punch back into the guard. So I'm not gonna step redirect, which is what we would normally talk about. We play RA, okay? I'm gonna take the gap. So I'm playing the B gap. Okay, so what does that do? That widens the A gap space. The nose is playing AR, he plays lag. And he the backside for I is gonna step redirect and play the B gap, looking to knock them back. Does anybody have any questions about that? No, okay, fantastic. So now, we take three by one while off. When we play three by one, nine man spacing while off in mid four. I'm gonna go like that, I'm gonna go like that, okay? We line up 41 and 10 because we need to define the A and C gaps. We're in solo space. All right, so who are we reading? We're reading guard tackle in their back, flow the back. We get inside zone. Inside zone happens, okay? And the Y falls back. We're playing what? Off the flow of the back. I'm falling to the A gap, not because of the Y, but because of the flow of the offensive line in the back.
He's playing the C. He's going to near foot shuffle sprint. He's going to have his inside foot, outside foot back. Inside foot up, outside foot back is the edge of the defense. The free safety is going to play stack force. And the will linebacker is playing the C gap, bend back. Okay? The jack backer and the weak side safety are the D gap and the quarterback player. So really, he's the C gap. Apologies. And he's the bend back. C gap, bend back. The jack backer has to be able to take the new number two out. Because he has the two on the out. Okay? So when he takes two to the flat and the quarterback pulls it, the weak side safety is now the edge of the defense. With the vice of the ball being between the will linebacker and the weak side safety. Everybody on the same page. Cool. Anybody have any questions about our front nine in space yet? Coach, how does the Jack know that uh, that the Y coming across is going in the flat and not picking out? He has the first thing out, right? That's what I'm saying. That's the quandary. Yep. That's what we're going to talk about a little bit when we talk about eight man and seven man spacing. You think when you play like post safety defense and you play eight man spacing, right? Whether you're playing post safety or split safety, doesn't matter. And you're slinging the fits. You think you have enough guys in the run fit but you don't, right? Because they're, you're get not gapped out in the run game. So you have to buy back players in the run game by following people back with the indicator. We're going to talk about that next. This is really easy in comparison because we're playing true one gap space. It's solo spacing. Right. So the jack knows I got the guy to the flat, easy. The weak side safety knows I'm fitting off of who? Who's my coverage? It was the why. Mm -hmm. I'm playing Robert on the lot, what we call coach. Mm -hmm. 